So this thing's been up and running for a little while. It's probably windy as all get up. Um, I think there was more questions about the configuration and programming of this. So I'm gonna power it down right now, which is uh, as simple as unplugging the power. And I'm gonna hook up the uh, adapter and I'm gonna fire up the computer down here and we're gonna go ahead and take a look. So um, once I get this plugged in, we just okay now that we're in um, first and foremost we are gonna go to device manager and uh, we're gonna go to com ports And we're gonna see the two, if we unplug, let's see which one. So we can see which one came and went when we unplugged. In case we didn't know what it was called, it's the Prolific USB to Serial COM6. So we're gonna open up the program, which is installed right here. And there we go, we're in. I'm gonna go to screen recording now. All right, so here we got the uh, main the main window of the uh, software for programming. If you have a saved file or if you have downloaded one, you can open it here. And so if you have one that was sent to you, a pre-configured file from somebody, um, you can open it there, upload it. But what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be actually downloading it from the device itself. So we're gonna go under program, read from the device or the inner phone. Read the data. And here's what we get. So there's our eight repeater channels. Um, we can select between the narrow and wide banding, transmit power, and if we want to use CT CSS tones or PL tones, um, these are not privacy. Don't think of them as privacy. They do not protect your privacy. They are just there to keep the trash out. It keeps uh, keeps all the extra stuff from coming into your radios. So once we've made the changes that we want to, we're going to write it back to the device. And there we go. Now it's important to remember, like I said before, um, on the the transmit and receive frequencies. These are different from US, it's not, I don't think it's a code, but it's standards. Um, they're actually reversed. I don't know why that is. I don't know if you can reverse it, but from what I could see, there really wasn't a way to reverse it. Um, here's some of the other stuff. I never messed with any of this, but if you're interested in it, I'm gonna put some pictures right now on the screen. These are from the manual. Um, also, down below you will find um, links to where I downloaded the programming software, which was from mygrms.com. That's also where I purchased my repeater. You'll also find links to SparkFun, which is where I downloaded the CH340 drivers. And finally, on one of my other videos, I had a commenter say that I wasted my money on this repeater because of its low output. However, repeaters have more features than just extending range. Blocked link, we can actually place the repeater on top of the mountain, and then from point A, or location A, up to the repeater, I can then reach the other side of the mountain. It repeats the signal over obstacles. Questions, comments down below, thanks.